I remember when I was a kid, I saw the video of Dave McLeod, um, who did the, the first ascent of the route, and for me it was something completely crazy. Like he, it was um, unbelievable for me that someone would invest so much time and so much effort in something so dangerous. And at the time, it didn't make any sense for me. When I was in Scotland, I had a lot of time to think about the different processes of climbing. To repeat something, it's always a big challenge, but it's easier as you know that it has already been climbed. It was really strange for me, because uh, when I led the route, I always fell off the same move. But when I tried top rope, I could always link the top part. So I had a really hard time with myself, because I I wasn't scared while climbing, but I always fell off the same move and I couldn't understand why. Okay, yeah. Silly guy! So it became like a mental battle a little bit. Honestly, at the beginning, I thought that um, Rhapsody was easier, but it wasn't. <laughs> the crack sequence was really tricky, so it took me some time to figure it out. And the weather condition didn't help because it was really cold and windy. <laughs> Finally, like the weather improved a little bit, got a little bit warmer. I tried the route without expectations because it was a little bit greasy and uh, I found myself on the top of the route. <laughs> it was like one of the best moments of my climbing life probably. Rhapsody has always been a, a big dream of mine and of course I'm super happy that I climbed it but during the process of repeating it I realized that what inspires me more is the vision of the first ascensionist. And the time and the effort he had to invest to realize his vision. During the process of repeating it, I start to feel the desire of finding a line which reflects my vision of climbing. Yeah. 